Welcome aboard. Today, we are setting sail on a voyage through the complex waters of the shipping industry with the ancient wisdom of Yi Jing's Gigi hexagram as our compass. We'll explore how this profound hexagram provides valuable insights into the economic forces shaping global shipping and offers guidance for managing and investing in this vital sector. Instead, we'll be guided by the profound wisdom of Yi Jing's Gigi hexagram, an ancient Chinese system of divination. This is where the GG hexagram steps in, offering insights into maintaining balance, embracing flexibility, and anticipating change of crucial principles for navigating the turbulent waters of the shipping industry. So whether you're a seasoned captain of industry or a curious investor seeking new horizons, join us as we delve into the fascinating interplay between ancient wisdom and modern maritime challenges. The shipping industry, much like the open sea, is a dynamic and ever-evolving world. Global trade, economic fluctuations and geopolitical events all create ripples that impact the course of maritime commerce. Just as water must flow to maintain its life-giving properties and fire must be contained to prevent destruction, the shipping industry must find a balance between opposing forces, supply and demand, risk and reward, innovation and tradition. Throughout this exploration, we'll delve into specific examples of how the GG Hexagram's principles can be applied to real-world maritime challenges, offering insights for both managing and investing in this vital sector. This summer is proving to be a milestone for LCCs operating across the Atlantic, as they have a 5.3% frequency share and just over 7,300 flights scheduled. Although in capacity terms, their share of the market is just 4.6% by virtue of those airlines operating a lower than market average capacity per flight. With such a small share of the market, the ability for these airlines to disrupt the market is extremely limited, especially when access to major hub airports is factored into the mix. Network experimentation is a major part of LCC's operations. This year, there are 47 airport pairs operated by the low-cost sector compared to 36 last year, with new routes such as Athens to New York JFK from North Atlantic Airways. The long-term success of long-haul LCC services is always a question, and their fragile market share makes them vulnerable to competitive pressures when market demand softens and the price of oil hardens. Aside from markets such as New York and perhaps Florida, year-round operations can be hard, resulting in increased operating costs from launching, closing and then relaunching services each year. JetBlue Airways, still classified as an LCC, although perhaps now more of a hybrid carrier, have already started making network adjustments to their winter 2024-25 program while just launching seasonal services to Edinburgh. This highlights just how much a carrier can change their network and indeed strategy in a few weeks of analysis. While it made the busiest ever summer season on the Atlantic, and airlines will certainly be enjoying a combination of strong demand across both established and new routes being trialed on a seasonal basis, the reality is that this is a very hard market to both break into and in which change occurs. The legacy airlines and particularly the three major alliances dominate capacity through their joint venture agreements. Some 80% of all flights will be operated by alliance carriers, 5% by LCCs, and then a smattering of non-aligned legacy carriers such as Iceland Air, Condor and Air Transat who all adjust capacity from season to season as they compete in one of the toughest markets in the world. But despite that lack of real change in the market structure, there is no doubt that the transatlantic market remains one of the most attractive markets for airlines and for many carriers, is the most profitable part of their networks. That competition and insatiable market demand bring something new to the market every summer, and that has to be good for consumer choice and spreading tourism across a wider range of destinations, something that helps every destination in the long term. Let's dive into a real-world example to illustrate the tangible impact of exchange rates on the shipping industry. The recent surge in the value of the US dollar, particularly against the euro and the British pound, has had a noticeable effect on transatlantic travel and tourism. As the US dollar gains strength, American tourists find themselves with increased purchasing power in European countries. This case study underscores the importance of understanding the interplay between economic factors and their ripple effects on various sectors, including shipping. 
Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for takeoff as we journey through the evolution of airline fleets, a tale of technological advancements and strategic decisions. Just a decade ago, the skies were dominated by aircraft that, while iconic, were starting to show their age. Then there was the mighty Boeing 747, affectionately dubbed the Queen of the Skies. Today, a new generation of aircraft has emerged, boasting improved fuel efficiency, reduced emissions, and advanced technologies. These modern marvels now dominate the transatlantic market, accounting for a significant portion of all flights. The shift towards newer aircraft models is driven not only by technological advancements, but also by sound economic principles. Modern aircraft, with their advanced engines and aerodynamic designs, consume significantly less fuel than their predecessors. This translates into substantial cost savings for airlines, especially on long-haul routes where fuel consumption is a major expense. Interestingly, while these newer aircraft offer cost advantages, they often come with slightly less seating capacity compared to the older jumbo jets. This approach allows for more flexibility in adjusting flight schedules and frequencies, ensuring that routes remain profitable, even during periods of fluctuating demand. The transition from older, fuel-guzzling aircraft to a new generation of efficient and technologically advanced models is transforming the aviation industry. Airlines are investing heavily in these new aircraft, recognizing that their long-term success depends on embracing innovation and adapting to the changing landscape of air travel. The quest for even greater fuel efficiency, reduced emissions, and enhanced passenger experiences will drive further innovation, leading to even more remarkable aircraft gracing the skies in the years to come. The transatlantic aviation market is a bustling hub of activity, akin to a grand ballroom, where airlines from around the world waltz in and out, connecting passengers and cargo across the Atlantic. From the iconic routes like New York's JFK to London's Heathrow, a pathway well trodden by business travelers and holidaymakers alike, to less frequented connections like Copenhagen to Miami, catering to a niche market seeking sun-kissed beaches or Scandinavian adventures, the transatlantic market offers a diverse menu of travel options. This dynamic nature of the transatlantic market is a microcosm of the broader aviation industry where adaptability and responsiveness to change are paramount for survival and success. In the competitive arena of transatlantic aviation, a new challenger has emerged, shaking up the status quo and offering travelers alternative options for crossing the pond, the low-cost carrier. These airlines, with their no-frills approach and focus on cost efficiency, have gained significant traction in recent years, chipping away at the dominance of traditional legacy carrying. Their strategy is simple yet effective. Offer lower fares by stripping away non-essential services, charging for extras like checked baggage and in-flight meals, and operating a standardized fleet of fuel-efficient aircraft. However, despite their growing popularity and innovative business models, low-cost carriers still face challenges in the transatlantic market. Legacy carriers, the established giants of the aviation world, are not taking the rise of low-cost competition lying down. These airlines, with decades of experience, extensive route networks and strong brand recognition, still command the lion's share of the transatlantic market, controlling around 80% of flights through a combination of joint ventures and strategic alliances. To counter the low-cost challenge, legacy carriers are streamlining operations, investing in fuel-efficient aircraft to reduce costs, and introducing their own low-cost subsidiaries or brands to compete directly in the budget travel sector. The battle for transatlantic skies is far from over, with both legacy carriers and low-cost challengers constantly adapting their strategies to stay ahead in this dynamic and competitive market. Let's shift our focus now from the tangible aspects of the shipping industry to a more abstract yet insightful realm, the ancient wisdom of Yi Jing's GG hexagram. The GG hexagram, often translated as after completion, signifies a state of culmination, a point where something has reached its peak. However, this hexagram also carries a note of caution, a reminder that even in moments of triumph, complacency can lead to decline. The hexagram depicts water over fire, a symbolic representation of the need for balance and harmony between opposing forces. 
The GG hexagram reminds us that success is not a final destination, but a continuous journey requiring constant vigilance and adaptation to maintain equilibrium. For those at the helm of shipping companies, the GG hexagram offers valuable insights into navigating the complexities of the industry. Just as a ship must adjust its course to accommodate shifting winds and currents, so too must shipping companies be prepared to adapt their strategies in response to market fluctuations, geopolitical events, and technological advancements. Shipping companies must carefully balance their capacity with demand, ensuring they have enough vessels to meet market needs without falling into the trap of overcapacity, which can lead to price wars and reduced profitability. The hexagram reminds us that even in times of apparent success, unforeseen challenges can arise. By embracing the principles of balance, adaptability, and vigilance, as embodied in the GG hexagram, shipping companies can navigate the challenges of the industry with greater resilience and foresight, ensuring their continued success in an ever-changing world. The GG hexagram offers valuable lessons for investors in the shipping industry. It encourages caution, reminding us that even in prosperous times, decline can follow if caution is ignored. Diversification is key, just like distributing a ship's cargo for stability. This mitigates risks from market volatility, ensuring stability. Aligning strategies with Gigi's wisdom helps balance opportunities and risks. The shipping industry, much like a ship on the high seas, must navigate not only physical obstacles, but also the ever-shifting currents of geopolitics. The world stage is in constant flux, with trade wars, shifting alliances and regional conflicts creating waves of uncertainty that ripple through global supply chains. Trade tensions between major economies, for instance, can lead to tariffs, sanctions and disruptions in trade flows, impacting shipping routes and costs. Shipping companies caught in the cross-currents of these disputes must adjust their strategies, seeking alternative routes, renegotiating contracts and absorbing increased costs. Political instability in regions crucial for shipping, such as the Strait of Hormuz or the South China Sea, can also pose significant challenges. Piracy, an armed conflict, or even the threat of such events can disrupt shipping lanes, leading to delays, increased insurance premiums, and heightened security concerns for both vessels and their crews. Navigating these geopolitical tides requires shipping companies to adopt a proactive and adaptable approach, closely monitoring geopolitical developments, diversifying trade routes, and maintaining strong relationships with governments and international organizations are essential for mitigating risks and ensuring business continuity. The shipping industry faces pressure to clean up its act. Environmental regulations are reshaping the industry. Cleaner fuels and innovative technologies are being embraced. Ballast water treatment adds complexity and cost. The green horizon promises a sustainable future. The shipping industry, once characterized by tradition and a measured pace of change, is now riding the waves of technological innovation. From the engine room to the captain's bridge, Digitalization, automation, and data analytics are transforming the way ships are designed, operated, and managed, ushering in an era of unprecedented efficiency and transparency. The rise of autonomous ships, while still in its early stages, holds the potential to revolutionize the industry. Self-piloting vessels, guided by artificial intelligence and advanced sensors, promise to reduce human error, optimize fuel consumption, and enhance safety at sea. Blockchain technology, known for its secure and transparent nature, is also making inroads into the shipping industry. From streamlining documentation and tracking cargo movements to improving supply chain visibility and reducing fraud, blockchain offers the potential to simplify complex processes and enhance trust among stakeholders. The Internet of Things, with its network of sensors and data gathering devices, is enabling real-time monitoring of ship performance, cargo conditions and environmental factors. This data-driven approach allows for predictive maintenance, optimized routing and more efficient fuel consumption, leading to cost savings and reduced environmental impact. The shipping industry thrives on balance, vigilance and adaptability. Like a captain adjusting course, flexibility and foresight are key. The GG hexagram teaches us that success is a continuous journey. Embrace balance, manage risks and uphold safety. Navigate complexities for a prosperous, sustainable future. What is the GG hexagram and why is it relevant? 
The GG hexagram symbolizes completion and the need for caution even in times of success. It represents the harmonious balance between opposing elements like the water and fire, emphasizing that equilibrium must be maintained to prevent decline after achieving a peak. In the maritime sector, the GG hexagram teaches us that achieving operational efficiency and market success is only half the battle. The real challenge lies in maintaining that success by staying vigilant and adaptive. Just as the hexagram advises balance, shipping companies must balance their operations with market conditions to avoid slipping back into turmoil. Managers face risks such as market volatility and operational inefficiency. The GG hexagram advises proactive measures and flexibility to anticipate and respond to disruptions. Strategies like diversified supplier networks and continuous market monitoring are crucial for maintaining stability and growth. Investors should heed the hexagram's advice of caution during prosperous times. Diversifying investments and staying informed about market trends are key. Building resilience into investment portfolios can help navigate the inevitable ups and downs of the maritime industry. To put it simply, we have witnessed that it is not only feasible to combine ancient Eastern wisdom with modern financial strategies, but it is also possible. This is a revolutionary invention. From embracing change to finding a balance between empathy and determination, this perspective on business management is refreshing thanks to these principles. Therefore, let's stay optimistic. These timeless and timely strategies can help businesses thrive. The importance of balance and smart strategy cannot be overstated. The key is to find the perfect spot and maintain agility, just like a tightrope walker with a safety net. To navigate the future economy, it is crucial to adopt careful and smart strategies that emphasize balance and adaptability. The current global market situation is not a simple matter. It has both favorable and unfavorable factors, as well as opportunities and risks. The environmental resources of each region on Earth are unique due to their differing latitudes and longitudes. We can summarize real-time opinions using artificial intelligence operations, such as neural networks, that take into account regional characteristics and national economic data. By watching our videos every week, you can keep yourself informed with a wealth of information that will improve the quality of your life in many ways with minimal time investment. In order to survive in these volatile financial environments, it is crucial to be able to adjust and avoid increased risk. Regardless of how experienced you are in investing, it's crucial to keep an eye on our video debuts to make better decisions. It's crucial to remember that knowledge is not just a tool to enhance your value, it's also a power. If you have any topics you're interested in, feel free to leave a message. To conclude this episode, I want to express my gratitude to all the viewers for their support. If you find that today's video is helpful, please like it so that you can easily find it later when you need to watch it. I want to express my gratitude for your attention. Thanks.